Hi everyone, welcome back to my third project for Kid Ollie Kids. Uh, this is a layout in my Me, Myself and I album from 2021. So I am hoping that I'll probably finish this album by the time, I don't know, by the time 2023 rolls around. Um, the prompt for this particular uh, page is, what's it called? It's favorite thing about me. And so I've got some photos about me, but I wanted to use this doily and do a bit of mixed media on it. I did not know if this was going to work and I'm surprised that it did. Uh, I wanted to match the colors from the opposite side, um, but also match the colors from the photo, if that makes like, of, of, so they, they're similar, but they're not hundred percent the same. So that is why I'm doing, using those colors and that, those sprays that we got in previous kits. Setting that aside to dry, and I'm going to do just a bit of stamping with my title. Um, now, you might get confused because I'm going to start by stamping um, number 26. The reason why this number is number 26 and the next one is number 28 is because 27 was a prompt where I wanted to do double page layout. I'm pretty sure 27 was about my husband, maybe. I can't remember. But that's why I've sort of combined them. So they're not really in order. But the prompt 26 is favorite thing about or best thing about me and prompt 28 was favorite room in my house so that's why they're together so i am doing some stamping using that <clears throat> alpha stamp and i'm using um archival ink black archival ink uh just to do that stamping and i'm just stamping the title i put this little mat underneath my stamping so that <clears throat> it um doesn't bulk too much because i was finding it a bit difficult to create an impression with that number two um, I wanted to create this bold sort of typed stamping really to draw the eye because everything else in this uh, layout is quite soft and um, kind of pretty and so I wanted to have this like really bold look at me kind of um, uh, type. Anyway, so I am taking this rainbow paper which I loved but I accident actually had to just cut into for other projects this um this month but I wanted to use that whole paper so I'm just using this tiny little strip of it because I was like I am determined to use it for something on purpose so I'm using this tiny little strip uh, I pre printed my journaling adding a little title to my journaling can't remember what it says I think it says something like you've got this uh, and the reason why I do that is because my all my journaling is about how awkward I find it to write about good things about myself and so I thought that that was like a nice little uh, sentiments like you can do it you can say nice things about yourself <laughs> uh, I am creating this little flower cluster which I'm going to have sticking out behind the photo next to the me uh, and but I can't stick that down yet because I'm still waiting for my doily to dry what I ultimately did is <clears throat> I just dried it with my dryer you know that thing that dries um oh my goodness What's it called? My heat gun. <laughs> Sorry, I am a bit unwell at the moment and so my brain's a bit foggy. But I wanted that to stick out from underneath the photo. It's very subtly colored, like you can barely even see it on camera. You can see it a bit more in person, but it's more of a shimmer in person. And I just wanted to add that bit of texture. That's really the only reason why I did the doily. Um, and I also didn't get to do much mixed media this month, so I thought I need to do some mixed media. So that's another reason why. Uh, I am sticking in that little flower cluster, which has got some glue behind it. And I'm also now going to add my journaling. I'm just going to plonk it right there. It was meant to go underneath, but I must have sized everything wrong. And so it is overlapping with my photo a little bit, which is actually a look I quite like. So I'm happy. It was a happy accident. Uh, adding another little matching cluster of flowers down here. Uh, I like that there was... I like these die cuts because the flowers, they come individually, but then they also cluster them together. Anyway, I'm adding some little plus signs all over as I do. And then I'm going to add some Nuvo drops. And by some miracle, I don't smudge this. Genuinely, this book is currently packed away in my craft room and it's not smudged. So I think that's amazing. Last thing I'm going to do is add this little label that says, yes, I can. And this layout is done. Thank you very much for joining me, everyone. I hope to see you all next week. Bye.